But now, uh, let's let's get through one more thing. The other namesake of the streams, uh, the Supreme Court. Everybody knows and hates the Supreme Court, of course. Uh, and they just delivered a ruling that wasn't complete evil for once. Uh, from More Perfect Union again. Let me find a um, find a news article about it. I guess. Go to. It's the first stone. Here we go. CNN has an article on this. Um, breaking. Supreme Court, this is from the More Perfect Union. The Supreme Court just unanimously ruled that anti abortion plaintiffs have no standing to sue to restrict access to mifepristone, an FDA approved drug used in medicated abortion. A lot of abortions in the U.S. happen via pill. Uh, very safe uh, method of doing so. Uh, you know, doesn't really endanger the life of the woman. It's a it's a pretty well tested uh, method of IVG, um, and uh, it's become a lot more prevalent ever since Roe v. Wade was overturned, and ever since uh, more legal scrutiny has been on women in conservative states who need who either need or want to get an abortion. Um, you know, it's like, uh, it's kind of like the last resort for when birth control fails is you get an abortion. Uh, and, um, the Republicans had been pushing to make this medication illegal because they, they just want abortion to be illegal because then it's a lot easier to control women politically or, or to subjugate them, I guess. Uh, little did they know, alienating half of the country doesn't tend to work out for you politically, you know? Um, abortion in the U.S.? Yeah. Here's the thing, though. The, I mean, the Supreme Court ruled the right way on this one. Let me chill and just take a pill. Oh, wait. I didn't mean to pin that. Unpin. Thank you. I, I did not mean to do that. However, yes. Um... There were some right-wing groups that were suing to try to get um, abortion banned in pill form because it wasn't enough that they overturned the constitutional protection for it. They wanted to just make it outright illegal. Um, and the Supreme Court ruled, it didn't even rule on the case. This is them declining to take the case at all. Uh, they said, like, no. We're not even going to hear the arguments for this because it is meritless. You don't have standing. Um, you know, and that, that basically means that, like, you have no, uh, what is it? No, like, stake in this or whatever? There's some weird court rules about which cases are valid and which aren't to be heard by a court. But ultimately, the Supreme Court decided not even to hear this case at all. So it's functionally them being like, Get the fuck out of here. We're not banning Mifepristone. Um, and uh, Mifepristone also, this would be a devastating blow if they did take the case. So I'm glad they didn't. Because Mifepristone is available over the counter. It's just like an over the counter abortion pill. Just the same as you would have like an over the counter painkiller or cough medicine. You know, like, oh, this will smooth out your throat. Easy something or other. Originated in Texas with a Trump appointed judge. At the outset of the case, the anti abortion doctors and medical orgs who challenged the FDA rules sought to pull Mifepristone off the market entirely, arguing it was unsafe, a claim that has been refuted by mainstream medical organizations. Yeah. Federal judge in Texas, nominated by former President Trump, uh, sided with the anti-abortion groups, but his ruling never went to effect. The Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals reversed part of that ruling, holding the drug's two-decade-old underlying approval would stand. But the appeals court sided with the doctors who challenged subsequent decisions by the agency that expanded access to the drug, including uh, the ability to dispense it through the mail. Okay, so the Fifth Circuit Court... Even the Fifth Circuit Court, which is pretty fucking crazy far right, couldn't justify, like, ruling against Mifepristone entirely here. 
None of those lower court rulings went into effect because the Supreme Court intervened last year in order that the status quo around Nip for Pristone remain in place until the justices reviewed the case. The Supreme Court heard arguments in March. Oh, interesting. In the meantime, a group of uh, Republican-led states intervened in the case at a trial judge level, signaling that the fight over abortion pill access would continue even as the Supreme Court has rejected the lawsuit brought by anti-abortion doctors. Oh, of course. Let's see. Where was the end result of this? Maybe I have to scroll up for that. The Supreme Court rejected a lawsuit challenging the FDA's approach. Let's see. The ruling. Wait, so they did hear the case. Okay, so they rejected it based on a... 9-0? Holy shit, Justice Brett Kavanaugh wrote the opinion for a unanimous court. The court ruled that the doctors and anti-abortion groups that had challenged access to the drug did not have standing to sue. Though technical, the court's reasoning is important because it might encourage other Mifepristone challenges in the future. Oh, okay, so they ruled against it here to, pr like pry the door open a little bit for right-wingers to challenge abortion pills and stuff in the future. Citizens and doctors. It, it, he starts by saying, we recognize that many citizens, including the plaintiff and doctors here, uh, have sincere concerns about uh, and objections to others using the person obtaining abortions. But citizens and doctors do not have standing to sue simply because others are allowed to engage in certain activities, at least without the plaintiffs demonstrating how they would be injured by the government's alleged under-regulation of others. Basically, this doesn't affect you, so it's not your business. Like, this doesn't hurt you, it only affects the person doing the activity. So you don't have standing to sue. I think that's a pretty okay thing to say for this i don't know under the cause wow this is actually surprisingly backhanded under the constitution kavanaugh wrote this is one of the conservative supreme court justices a plaintiff's desire to make a drug less available for others does not establish standing to sue holy shit that's surprisingly direct Citizens and doctors who object to what the law allows others to do may always take their concerns to the executive and legislative branches and seek greater regulatory or legislative restrictive, uh, restrictions on certain activities. So basically he's saying, take it up with your governors and state legislatures. Huh. Not bad. You know, although I should mention as well, this is obviously not being motivated by any sort of like ideological change of heart or whatever. Um, the, the, the key thing that's going on here is that the Supreme Court knows that their reputation is fucked, especially on the, the topic of abortion, because they overturned the, uh, decision that made it a constitutional protection for people to get abortion and IVG. Um, the, uh, the thing here is they're like, all right, we have to deliver a pretty, like, safe ruling we have to say something that's not going to get us in hot water we have to rule in a way that's not going to make the supreme court fucking disappear overnight because the supreme court probably a lot of them ideologically agree with uh anti-abortion uh doctors and medical orgs and and like political groups and stuff right but they uh they know that the majority of Americans, the vast majority of Americans, including a lot of conservatives, think that IVG and abortion should just be legal and available, right? Like, it's a, it's a pretty uncontroversial, in that respect, it is an uncontroversial health practice. That controversy is being manufactured around by certain elements of the far right. It's not actually that controversial of an opinion, uh to be talking about, right? That abortion should be available and safe and legal. You know? It, that, that's the case, actually, with a lot of issues, that none of the opinions, even opinions that I have, as radical as they might be, the core opinion at the base of it is never that radical. It's never even that controversial. Even some of the stuff that leads me to say, like, and that's why we need socialism and to redistribute wealth and whatever the fuck, you know, any issue, be it health or education or, um, or like, uh, rent or whatever, 
None of that is a very controversial discussion. Most people would agree on some very basic points. Same thing with abortion. The issue is that there are some some uh, very rich people that want life to be worse for everybody, so they manufacture a narrative to try to manufacture controversy where none would otherwise exist because, you know, a lot of progressive positions are just so self-evidently correct from a perspective of wanting people's lives to be as, as easy and as uh, as good as possible. You know? And the Supreme Court recognizes that, and they recognize how devastating it would be if they ruled against public opinion in this case. So that's the, the motivating factor here. Um... And thus, we have, like, uh, an actual okay ruling from the Supreme Court. Surprising. 